Oh yeah, caught your head banging, didn't I? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Motivated Devil, and uh, how you guys doing today? Hopefully, you guys aren't being little bitches and hackers. Yeah, if you clicked on this video thinking I was gonna show you how to do the tenth prestige glitch, you're an idiot. Well, I'm kind of gonna, no, I'm not gonna show you. But anyways, so you guys, you you guys might know tenth prestige glitch leaked out today, and I don't know. Why, I don't understand why you people have to fucking ruin a game like this game hasn't even been out fucking two weeks and like you're probably sitting there saying what the fuck how does this ruin the game it, you know blah 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 it's just a level I got a perfect example right fucking here for you here's some what some idiots were saying didn't get banned yet on Xbox or PS3 all you need to do is just play for a while blah 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 why should people get banned after because they're 10 prestige glitch. It doesn't ruin the game for you or anyone else. It's just a rank. Bob, I mean, like, what? Like, come on, dude. Are you stupid? Look at this. This is all you have to do. All you gotta do is go to COD TV, go to Recently Shared, and look at this. They're all over. Prestige, GL, obviously, Prestige Glitch, Domination. I mean, you know, they're all like 10 seconds and 6 seconds on Demolition, Nuketown. I mean, I don't understand. Like, why? Why? This game isn't even hard to rank up in. All you gotta do is fucking run low streaks and you rank up. I really don't understand why people have to ruin, you know, such a great game. I, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm stupid. Maybe I'm overreacting. But, I mean, I don't understand. I don't understand it one fucking bit. This game isn't hard to rank up, you know. And what's the point of paying... Why would you pay $60 for a game for something that you're just gonna, you know, hack it anyway... And then, you don't even get nothing out of it. You just paid 60 bucks for a game that you already have everything in, your 10th prestige. Like, what more left is there to do in Black Ops 2 multiplayer other than break people that are trying to play legit and move up their own damn way? Like, I don't understand. I don't understand your little concept there. But, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Do you think it's, you think it affects the community? I mean, because I sure as hell does. Because, I mean, like, are you, you've sit, spent two days on this game, and then some guy spent a day on this game, probably not even that, and he's 10th prestige, has everything he wants, probably like every camo, everything. I mean, is that fair to you? You know, and then is that going to pressure you to be like, oh, well, hopefully, maybe I'll be that one guy that doesn't get banned, you know? Is that going to make a bunch of other people just go and do it? Look at this bitch. I Riot Shields, I don't understand why people run around with that. There is no way I'm going to run around with this big-ass fucking refrigerator. But there's the end of round one. We win three to one. And I'm mainly just playing defense on this game. I was playing the Sick Wrath Child. That's my, that's my best friend. We were playing together. But uh, he was playing as the attacker, and I was playing as the defender. Pretty much just we ran through this shit. I'm so glad they brought Nuketown back. Because if they didn't, I probably would have called up David Vonderhaar and gave him some fucking words of mine. Yeah, right, like I have his number, but... Yeah, I'm, def I'm just definitely glad they brought it back. I'm enjoying... This right here is actually the Chaos playlist. So, I'm enjoying the hell out of this. It's all pr pretty much all my favorite maps, because I hate all the big ones. Like, Yemen's a good map, but I'm sorry, it's just too damn big. And look at that dickhead jumping over the damp. Get out of here, you ain't taking my flag. Motherfucker came flying over the porch like he was a damn Geronimo or something. But, um, yeah, man, this was a good game. I was actually, I, if this actually probably could have really been maybe a 35 or a 40 kill gameplay, but that kill streak right there is the only damn kill streak that I got pretty much anything out of in this game, other than my UAV. My UAV probably did more help for me than anything else. But, I mean, if I would have got my kills with my, uh, Lightning Strike and my Hailstorm like I should have and didn't waste them in my Hunter Killer. This could have easily been a 40 kill gameplay, at least 35. But I don't know. I, I hate whenever you call in your Hailstorm and the spawn switches because this is such a small map. What's up, Legit Musk? But uh, this is such a small map that, you know, the spawn's flipping like every, seriously, 30 seconds. So you call in your Hailstorm, chances are the spawn's in the middle of a flip. Or, you know, there's only one person over there. Pop that mother. Get out of here. Let me get that fly. Oh, great. They are in there. <laughs> but then right here, our little teammate that wanted to just 
grab every flag and carry it pretty much ruined some more kills for me because we see we're winning two and oh we only need one more flag cap and we have plenty of time this game could have lasted a little bit longer but somebody was motivated and didn't fucking let me use my hailstorm but anyways guys I hope you guys enjoy this video if you did please leave a like below and tell me what you think about this glitch I think it's bullshit peace